Hello everyone, this is Rayspace and welcome to Mars First Logistics. I'm trying this out for the first time. It's not a new game. I've been looking at it for a while now. It was recently on sale, so I decided to pick it up. Uh, it was $15. And, well, is it really a space game or is it more of a vehicle game? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, there are some promising signs. For instance, in game, it says rockets use fuel. Yes, I have that ticked. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, okay, uh, there's a standard creative and custom, uh, so okay, maybe, maybe it's spacey, but I'm not entirely sure, because it's definitely focused on land vehicles, it's logistics uh, via rovers, uh, but these are the game settings that I have right now, and we will see. So start, I'm going into this mostly blind, as you can tell, so we are going to... Explore this together. So, time to get familiar with controls. They don't say a whole lot, they're just expecting me to use the controls, and then they have a little progress bar there. Okay, and camera zoom, okay, fine. Reset vehicle hold. Okay. New contract, delivering water can. Tab map. So a lot of this is me seeing how well their sort of tutorial is for people who aren't like watching a whole lot of YouTube videos trying to figure it out. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll see whether it's smooth enough as far as the learning curve is concerned. New contract in your inbox. So far so good. Okay, deliver water can. So we're going from one to the other. I assume well, the little dots are going that way, so okay. I think I have to pick it up here and then go over there. Alright, so we have waypoints. So we've got to pick up the water can there, and then drive it 0.9 kilometers. How hard can it be? It's got a cute little motor sound. I don't have a speed indicator anywhere. Oh, oh, oh. Well, and that's why I was interested in the speed indicator to see when we'd get into that kind of trouble. It's got very good dynamics, though. Whoa, I'm squirrely right now. Okay, so we we're at we're we're picking things up here. There's little shoes there. Uh, how do I pick things up? You? Do I pick things up from you? Not sure. I mean, am I already carrying the thing? It doesn't seem like I'm carrying the water can. So what gives? Let's see, this seems like a garage. Oop, bump. Okay. Well, okay, maybe I haven't accepted- Oh, I didn't accepted it yet. It uh, has to go into active. Thought I had pressed space before, but... Okay, so now maybe... There it is. So, how does one pick it up? Okay, not like that. Okay, pick up watering can. Edit vehicle. Blueprint specifically for this job. Watering can lifter. Oh, okay. We have a different blueprint. So we have to completely change our vehicle for this? Okay. Okay, well, we've changed, but now I've done a bad thing. I, I dropped the water can. <laughs> okay. I should have left it upright. Come on. Okay, we've got it. This reminds me of like 
the early phases of Juno New Origins where you're doing some vehicle missions too. But obviously more sophisticated with the water can. Okay, well they just pick it up. I don't have to set it down or anything. And I earn 30 funds. New contract. Deliver crate. Okay, let's see. Let me just accept that contract. But this is not a thing that I can use to pick up a crate with. Okay, edit vehicle. But it's weird. Yeah, there's the inventory. It's weird to have to edit the vehicle each time for every payload. Um, you can see how many we have. Completing contracts earns you funds. You can see your balance there. Buy new parts using your hard-earned funds. Okay. And we've got a watering can lifter, but we don't have a crate lifter. Or at least we haven't discovered that yet. Well, let's see what the little message has to say. Pick up crate. I mean, I guess it's not impossible, actually. It's just that we need to get to that higher position. And then the hook could go inside the inside the crate. Okay, maybe I just have to extend this thing. Okay, attach parts, rotate parts. How do I pick this up? Pick part. Okay, middle. Middle mouse. Oh no, I, I wanted it still though. I just want to pull this off and put it somewhere else temporarily if possible. But I don't see... No, maybe if I copy it. Oh no, I can't copy. Remove just takes it off and makes it fly away. I, I, I want the, the Kerbal system. <laughs> I want the Kerbal system where it's going to hang out off to the side. How do I get it to hang off to the side? Control, remove. No, that's not what I want. Uh, remove just makes it disappear. Oh no, it's still there. Okay, okay. All right. It, it was hanging out, but not visible. Oh no! But now it's not the whole thing. Okay. Undo. Okay, now I've got that whole thing. I don't know. Okay, is that gonna be tall enough? Let's find out. Uh, it doesn't seem like it, does it? Maybe it can knock it down, though. Um... Oh, that can happen. Oh boy. I'm not good at two-dimensional things. I'm definitely into three-dimensional vehicles. Oh, okay, okay, no! Wait, is the hole on the bottom or the top there? It's on the side. Okay, hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Let me just get another extension to this thing. It's still, when I selected all those things, it still didn't pick them all up. Okay, this should be tall enough, right? That's formidable and looks like it should tip over.
Oh, those screens in the way. Uh... Okay, okay. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, now we've got too long an arm. <laughs> okay, but... Yeah, fine. We gotta rebuild the machine again. Uh, this is the name of the game. Okay, got it, got it. Hope this is super necessary for the base and everything. You could sort of imagine, I mean, people don't want to go on EVA for every bloody thing. Like carrying a crate, they're not gonna go on EVA to carry a crate from one location to another. So they'd probably use some little robot like this. To bring it over from one place to another on Mars. You could see that. You, what you can't see is rebuilding the robot outside then i mean because there's nothing to rebuild it we got some new parts we got a crate car well, okay so that's the proper crate carrier new contract deliver a crate of oranges well we need a crate carrier for that because i can't hook the crate the way we did there okay proper crate carrier Two controllable parts. And we can switch channels. Maybe it is. Okay, so... Okay, that's up. And then... That's like that. I mean, you definitely don't want a box of oranges just sort of sitting outside on Mars like this. That'd be the end of those oranges. So, I don't know about this game. So... Okay, hopefully it's got a nice tight grip on it. Alright, we've got some oranges. This is probably more stable than I'd expect this rover to be. It'd be very front heavy right now. It does sort of feel like it's leaning that way, but not nearly as much as I think it would really do. There are people's construction site. These guys are on EVA. And they want oranges. I'm gonna block you away. Oh, they got pissed. Okay. I did interrupt them. That's nifty. That's a bit of realisms. Okay, the oranges are delivered. And if you give the people oranges, you get a whole new construction site. <laughs> Got more funds. Deliver steel beam. Well, wow, there's deliver steel beam and then step ladder and supplies. But I guess we'll just go with this. Well, maybe a step ladder, darn it. Nah, let's see about the steel beam. Uh oh. We... Nope, got some air there. There is fast travel, ultimately. Oh, oh. I'm not good at driving little vehicles like this. I'm sure everybody knows this already. I don't know, from this end can I carry a steel beam like that? I mean, this definitely would not be very well balanced. Maybe this is what they're trying to tell me. Okay. Maybe that's the lesson of this carrying a steel beam thing. Maybe I should be building a different rover for it. 
Whoa, that is more of a slope than I thought. What is that? Wait, what's that circle? Oh, I guess maybe it's just a light? I don't know. Well, I'm dragging a steel beam on the ground. Banging it on the ground a lot. Well, hopefully I don't have to get upright. Oh, well, maybe I do. No, I don't want to put it upright. Mm, the hook doesn't, I don't, I mean the claw doesn't really. Oh, well, the claw could claw into the steel beam, but it really can't tilt it like, no. Okay, maybe. Just go with the watering can lifter and see if it can do it. This is more of a puzzle game than anything else. At least right now. Okay. Can it really carry a steel beam like that? Oh, uh, oh yeah, we're, we're, oh boy. Balance is weird. Okay, but... Whoa! <laughs> okay, now I'm feeling it. Now I'm feeling the... Oh, it's... yeah. It's leaning a ways. Oh no! Oh. Okay, it's good enough. Oh, okay. More has been built. That's a lot. That's a lot of mileage out of one steel beam. I mean, I guess I could use funds to buy more pieces. Deliver telescope mirror. Okay. Uh, why don't we try supplies first? I know how to pick that up. That's easy. Let's just deliver some supplies. We just need to change to the crate carrier. Oh, that is a big thing though. Okay, okay, got it. I've been sort of lazy about building new things, but if it works, it works, right? Well, can we even... We, I don't know if we can put it up there. Okay, this might not work. <laughs> Okay, let me redesign this. It'd be easier if, you know, redesigning, I really understood how to just take this stuff off and keep it around. See, now, uh, I, I took that off, but now it only has this little bit. And then if I undo, and then I expand selection, okay, you know, here I'm gonna select all of these, right? Okay, and I remove. It still only carries that bit. You know, I thought I expanded selection and then when I press remove it'd be all the other stuff, but... Okay, let's try something else. This expand selection and then I'm gonna, like... Let go and then say remove. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Pick part. Nope. Not how that works. Well, and then if I do copy, I don't have enough parts to copy. It says that I don't have enough parts, so that doesn't work. But when I remove, it only removes like one thing. I mean, okay, now it's got everything. I don't know. I mean, just doing it wrong. Okay, but it's attaching from the wrong part, so... I have to go this way around, so that this is the last part.
All I'm saying is it's finickier than I would like. No, it's still, the root part is still the claw then. Even though I selected it in a different order. That's not good. I just want it to be like Kerbal. <laughs> I mean... It's gotta be a way. Okay, so it's like that. I want remove. And it still attaches from... I hovered over the part that I wanted to be the root part. It still wants this part to be the thing. Got say pick part, pick part. Uh, I don't think that's gonna help. Okay, let me try this part. Let's say start there. Remove, but then it only has this. <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean when I try very forcefully to make this the root part, it only has that. I'm expecting to need this to be as tall as possible. I forget exactly how big the crate is. I'm trying not to buy anything. Uh, it's too tall for this. We can't really bring that down. I'll probably need more pistons. Maybe if I had a, another servo at the bottom to tilt that. Uh, that's annoying because then I have to remove all this. Please, no! Don't make me build it all again. Ugh, it's gonna be make me build it all again. Okay, yeah, I don't know how to deal with that. Maybe somebody else can tell me. I like spacers. No. Oh, okay, I've bought a spacer. I like spacers. It'd be great to have a reference for the crate in here. Right. Now, you can tilt and everything, but... Is that going to be good enough? Okay, can this clamp? I don't know. Okay, I think it's got it. Okay, well, that's about as high as we can make that. Okay, well, maybe... Okay, yeah. Maybe not, but... Oh! Okay. Okay, it's taking it. Ow! Okay, well, there's our mon monstrous... Thingwajig. Alright, we did that. I guess we'll keep it the way it is until we see what we have to do next. We have to d deliver a telescope mirror. This doesn't look like it's sensitive enough for that, but... Oh my god. Oh, what was the reset button? I've tilted it over. It's happened. Oh, okay, I got back. No reset necessary. Good thing the parts don't have, like, damage. Oh my god! Ow! Okay. It's okay. Okay. Laboratory. 
or laboratory. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know how exactly you want to pick this up. Hmm. Seems maybe like a hook thing. Well, uh, probably just busted a t telescope mirror. If we grab the bottom of it. Okay, I think I'm gonna hook it. I mean, we might as well use some cylinders since we have them. Okay, whoa, I, I don't think this is how we're supposed to carry it, um, but we sort of got it. Do not carry a telescope mirror like this. That is a long trip up. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, okay, I skidded. Um... Physics! Okay, wait, you want me to put it up there? Whoa, whoa, that would have been a wreck. Um... There is an elevator, though. Please don't tell me I have to push the button. Oh no, it's going. It's got pressure plates. Whoa. Okay, we've done it. And I've got an achievement builder. I've completed my first construction project. There you go. That is one damaged mirror, though. <laughs> All right. Observatory complete. There you go. I got lots of funds. I didn't buy too many things. I got some new parts. Well, I think I should wrap it up here for the first video in this. We'll see whether people enjoy it. It's fun enough playing it. That's ooh, a rocket fin. Um, and Creative Apples. Uh, but yeah, it is a sort of relaxing game set around Mars. And, you know, it, it is sort of like a Mars-based thing. It's just taking some liberties here and there. All right. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.